So anyway, so I begin to get these laser treatments and it's really, really working. And you guys can look it up or whatever and, you know, check out, you know, what it does or whatever. And it's for hair, it's for growing your hair. And, you know, because a lot of black women, you know, we have, you know, stress alopecia from, you know, getting our hair braided and weaved and all that stuff. And you pulling and tugging at the temples and all those kind of, kind of things. And that's why a lot of us lose our hair. A lot of us don't want to admit that. That's why a lot of us are wearing units. And nobody is going to be as honest as I'm going to be. You know what I'm saying? Now, unless you're going through a bout of chemo or you're going through some other health things, the whereas your hair will begin to fall out and to thin. But for the most part, there's things out there that can be done. Now, me, I was contemplating on plugs. Um, when I went to my dermatologist, a uh, laser was a good option for me. I got a biopsy. I didn't come and tell y'all all this because I don't, I don't owe y'all every goddamn thing. You know what I'm saying? But, um, I went and I got a biopsy to, and so my, um, my dermatologist said, yes, the follicles are, st are regenerative. So, which means that, y yes, they can, you know, grow back or whatever have you. And, um, let's try some laser treatments and blah, 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 and see what, you know, what that would do. They begin to put me on spirolactone. I was taking that, which is a, um, uh, potassium sparing diuretic. For those of you guys that are in the medical field, you guys know what I'm talking about with that. Um, and so I begin to do these different things. Now for me, fuck that. I don't want, cause you know, uh, you know, as we get older, gravity sets in, our booty flip-flop, our shape of our ass don't be the same. Um, our teeth, some of us lose our teeth unless you, you know, had a bout with drugs or, you know, different things that's going on with you internally, you begin to lose your teeth. But more times than not, you know, a lot of cases is, you know, we have calcium deficiency as women because we bear children and all those types of things, and it takes so much from us. So we would begin to lose our teeth, or, uh, you know, drugs would definitely, you know, you see a woman that's in her 30s and she doesn't have any teeth, okay, well, wait a minute, let's start doing some process of elimination, okay? She ain't got but one child, so that ain't really her problem, you know what I'm saying? Okay, now... Um, what else is going on? She walking around fine, so she don't have no degenerative problem internally. So what's her problem? More times than not, it's possibly drugs, you know, and, and, and meth and different things will affect a woman's teeth and, you know, you know, they end up without any. So I, I've never been on any type of drugs. Let me say that right now. I've never been on any of those things. This is my grill. This is my teeth. That's why I got the caps in the back. This is my teeth, okay? So, but for me, I don't want to fuck around and get 47 and have no teeth. So, yes, I go to the dentist. Um, I am getting Zoom whitening. I'm trying everything that I can because fuck that. Now, black women can say all day long, oh, no, you're trying to be white. No, I'm not trying to be white. I'm trying to live my life a good life. And I'm trying to live my life gracefully. And I'm trying to age appropriately. I don't want to be out here 50 years old, my ass, the hump is at the top, the bottom of it is flat now, and my titties done hit the flow, and, you know, I'm fucked up, I got moles and shit all over my motherfucking face, I got whiskers, you ain't finna catch me out there like that, I mean, call me what you want to, and I'm not poking fun or anything, that's the reason why I took off my hat, because I wanted to come in peace and say, I have my own set of problems. You understand what I'm saying? I have my own transgressions that I'm working through. But I think that instead of us trying to poke fun or poke at that one and look at that one and kiki on that one, we need to come together and say, okay, well, look, sister, it's things that we can do that's going to prevent this from happening to us. Because it is something going on in the black community with our women. A lot of our women is like, well, you know what, shit, after I get done with work, I got these kids, shit, I ain't got time for all that shit, fuck that, I, bitch, don't you feel tired, don't you feel like you tied up with all that shit on, I mean, ain't that shit hot, well, you know what, me, I want to look a certain way, I want to be, you know, and, and it's part of my personality is not to be raggedy. I come on here and I dial it down a great deal. Reason why is because I don't want no black chicks poking at me saying, okay, this bitch, every time I turn around, she thinks she this, 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 and this. No, I don't think I'm none of that, but I'm some of that, though. You know? And, you know, because some women feel like, okay, well, I can't afford that. I can't do that or whatever. Then, therefore, this bitch right here is something else. 
No, it's not the fact that I'm something else. It's just the fact that I care about what I present to the world. I care about what I look like. I care about that. And there's a lot of us that truly do not care. I also understand, too, when we were little tykes, our mamas didn't, you know, tell us on how to, you know, take care of our bodies. And they didn't really, you know, explain to us, you know, how uh, uh, how our vaginas work and, you know, how to, you know, clean them and, you know, and all those type of things. I wasn't really taught too much about my pocketbook either. I'm telling you that right now. I had to learn my shit through trial and error. I had to learn because it is something. It's just who I am, okay? And the people that are closest to me, they think sometimes that I'm anal retentive because I'm so driven on not to look fucked up, whereas they like, damn, this bitch right here, shit, bitch, it take you three or four hours to get dressed to go. When it's time to go, bitch, if we leave it on Saturday, you getting prepared on Tuesday on what you're going to wear, what shoes you're going to wear, what accessories you're going to put, what purse you're going to exchange out, whatever. I mean, it's just who I am. That's just my makeup. But I'll be damned, though, if I'm going to be out there and I'm going to be 48 years old and I'm going to be out there looking fucked up. I can't do it. I have three children just like everybody else. I have, you know, a husband, you know, just like everybody else. My relationship with him ain't the best. You know what I'm saying? We're friends, but as far as, a, you know, uh, all that other shit, we ain't got all that going on. Too much didn't happen. Too much was in the game, you know. But I don't walk around and carry that luggage around with me every day. I'm pushing past that and I'm pushing forward because I want more for Tina. So all I'm saying to you guys, because I really got to go... Okay, I really got to go because it's 813 right now. Hold on, y'all. Because I really want to get in depth with this real, real tough like, but I just don't have the time. But let's open up this dialogue and figure out what's going on with us as black women that, you know, why our men are leaving us for different races and all that kind of stuff. Is it just the fact that we're letting ourselves go and we don't give a fuck nowadays? I mean, for real, because if you look at it, uh, there's a lot of, um, you know, there's a lot of different races ain't out there fucked up like us sometimes. I mean, we'd we be all at the store with pajama pants on, head rags and shit on. So you already know, bitch, if you came out in the store with your pajamas and shit on, you ain't washed your ass. But yet you won't, you know, this nigga to be checking you out in the produce section. I mean, for real, really? I mean, Seriously. You know, you got house shoes on with bunny rabbits on the tip. Them motherfuckers at the bottom is all total fucking wore out and dirty and all this kind of old shit. Plus, you got a big ass overcoat on. So, then therefore, you probably ain't even brush your teeth. I mean, you know, come on now, ladies. Come on. I'm not saying that it's us because we are on this platform to change our lives, are we not? We're on here to learn some better habits. But then our counterparts at home, our cousins, our sisters, our aunties, our other people in our communities, they just letting themselves go. And that is not what the business is. We need to take ownership of a lot of things that's happening with us, with our relationships with men. Hell, me and Jody be talking all the time. I tell her, I understand why our sisters is with other sisters. Shit, you know, I'm straight as a motherfucker, but goddamn, I done looked into it, though. I was like, shit, you know what? Because fuck these niggas, man, because they don't really, they ain't really trying to see us, a lot of them. And they ain't trying to see us because it's us. It is us. And so we need to come together, figure out what the fuck it is that's going on within us. You know, take ownership for the parts that we playing in it and move on. It's what the fuck we need to do and stop making so many fucking excuses why, you know, I ain't got no man and why black men is this and why black men is that and this, this. Have we ever looked at what the fucking part we playing in it? Have we looked in the part at what the fuck we, how we contributing to this motherfucking disastrous situation? You know what I mean? So on that note right now, it's 8.15. I got to go, family. I cannot upload this until I get back home, but I just had to come in and sign off on this. Let's open this up. I want you guys to leave your comments below. If you feel the need to put, uh, uh, do a video response, I accept that and welcome that too. We need to discuss this. We need to get a hold of this right now because we're doing real bad right now. And we're looking bad as a race when it comes down to our sisters. It's not good. We need to change this. On that note, deuces. I love you guys. I'm out. After I leave from there, I'm going to try to go straight to my appointment because actually my appointment is not till noon. But uh, this class is only an hour. 
So after I get up out of there, I want to do some strength training, uh, upper body. And then after I do that, then my point is to go straight to my laser treatment. And so if you guys have questions about the laser treatment, I have no problem with sharing that with you guys. It's just something that I kind of shielded for myself because I just didn't want to be judged about it. So on that note, family, I'm out. Deuces. I love you guys. Bye.